Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a singles love reading for Taurus, a themed reading, your next love interest, your next love prospect, what are their first impressions of you, what are their first impressions, how they'll see you. You may already know them, you may have had some dates, but this is their first impressions, so there we go. All right. Oh, they see you as the tower. So I feel this could be instant chemistry, but they may feel it may not go anywhere. You know, they probably see you as a real fighter. Yeah, they see you as somebody who kind of holds back. You want that truth. You need more clarity. And they also see you as someone, if they don't speak the truth, they don't know what they want, or there's any kind of indecisiveness, it'll end. <laughs> Taurus, what's going on here? Yeah, so they see you as somebody who's not going to offer a whole lot. You know, you may offer your cup to someone else. You're a little cautious. Uh, you're not so sure. You need clarity. They see you this way, but they also see you as somebody who may not be speaking the whole truth. You're holding back something. They may be having an epiphany. This could also be chemistry where things start off really fast. Okay, so let's see where this is going. Taurus. Yeah, their first impression is, is you know, there. I feel like, you know, things could start to speed up. I feel there's a need for clarity. So I feel they see you as somebody who wants that clarity. You're always looking for more answers and uh, you're a little cautious. You're not so sure about sharing too much of yourself. Uh, you're, I feel like this is, this is actually a balance on its own because it's somebody who's kind of just holding back. Not You're not telling this person everything. They feel like there's something you're not telling them. And it's because you're cautious about who you offer your feelings and emotions to. You know, you're not 100% sure. So this is going to be something that starts suddenly. But look at that. It's going to kick off because I feel they're going to, they see you as, as definitely this energy of one for in the door and out not so sure you need more clarity yeah they definitely see you as a star they see you as somebody who somebody who doesn't offer all of themselves all their feelings they don't really share a whole lot at first and I feel they, they see you as one foot in the door and out, but that they feel that, you know, you will eventually share more feelings, that you're going to let go of this and you're going to move forward. But, you know, they do see you as a star, some Aquarius energy here. Uh, they see you as somebody who may be very popular <laughs> as well. Uh, but they also, it's that energy of you know what you want, right? This is your hopes and dreams. And I feel they see you as their hopes and dreams. I, I think this person's going to, you know, but they see you as just holding back. You're maybe not telling them something. Maybe you're dating other people. I don't know. We'll see. But I like the fact that the star is in the middle. There's this purging, releasing. It's about inner balance. So once you gain that clarity, you may sort of let go of this you know, uh, uh, let go of this shyness of sharing your emotions, your feelings. Yeah, they see you as this, look at that, this king of pentacles. Yeah, you're somebody who's very grounded, very practical. You're definitely focused on your money and your finances. Uh, you may actually be very well known. All right, uh, they see you like this. This is our first impressions. They see you as the king of pentacles. It doesn't matter if you're uh, masculine or feminine. It's a, it's a definitely a masculine card, but they see you as somebody who's always making plans, somebody who works a lot, somebody who may be very well known as well. But they definitely see you as this star. They see you as somebody who likes to look into the future and kind of plan. You're always prepared, uh, but finances are a really big deal. So... How else do they see you? Yeah, they see you that this could go somewhere, but they see you holding back. You may be protecting your money, okay? Feeling a little protective of everything that you've worked for. So I do feel they see you as their hopes and dreams, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and you can flip this energy, all right? You know how you feel. But this is an energy of, you know, maybe maybe walking away, but maybe going forward, but holding back. So it's a little bit stuck. They feel like you're in protective mode here. You're, uh, But you have something. It's almost like they feel like you really have nothing to fear from me, okay? That's what I feel like. Um, you know, they need you to kind of let go of that and let them in because you've got this one foot in the door and out. I do think you're going to date. I do think that eventually with that being in the middle, you're both going to, it is possible you both have things you need to release from the past. Okay, things that you need to let go of, you know, old relationship baggage, things like that for this to move forward. So obviously there's going to be some kind of conversation, but they feel like you're holding back, that you're not offering a lot, that, you know, maybe telling them a little bit of a story. I feel like there's a conversation, a story going to be told. Uh, but I feel it's shyness. Somebody may say, look, I'm kind of shy about sharing my feelings. I'm trying to not be that way. 
<laughs> I really like you. Like they may have insecurities a little bit. They may feel like you're under their league. I mean, look at you. You're they see you as the king of pentacles. And yeah, they see you as someone who can manifest whatever they want. And I actually feel like you could marry each other a little bit. Um, you don't have to. If you don't feel that this is your energy, then it's not your energy. But I see this uh, Virgo energy. So Taurus, your person could be a Virgo. They may be very similar to you. You may both be very focused on money, career, finances, the future, always making plans. Uh, you both may be releasing something here. Yeah, but look at that. They also see you as the Queen of Cups, somebody very loving and nurturing. And they know if they don't show you that they value you, uh, they don't share their feelings and emotions, they know that you will offer your cup to someone else. You'll just walk away. So they are heading your way. They don't know yet, uh, but so far they see you as a star. They see you as somebody who's very popular. They might feel like you're under their league. You know, you're, you're loving, you're nurturing, you're caring. You want rest reciprocity uh, you definitely they see you as someone who wants love so but I feel it's going to see how it's going to evolve they feel as though eventually you're going to let go of something maybe uh, whatever it is and that you're going to go for your hopes and dreams but you there is some kind of insecurity about sharing your feelings but you're going to let go of it and I feel like they're going to try to uh, help you let go of it by showing you they value you they care about you so I, I feel there could be marrying you both with that star maybe letting go of old baggage old relationship baggage I feel like when you're going to meet it's going to be very instant chemistry uh, but I also feel they know uh, that if they don't come in and, and communicate very clearly uh, and offer you uh, more than just a little sippy cup, right? They know you'll walk away. You'll go find love elsewhere. Uh, they, there's the, you know, the Queen of Cups is someone who's had a tough time in love, so they see that. They, they get it. There may be, maybe you've shared that with them and let them know you're not too sure, a little shy. Uh, you need more clarity, okay? This is an energy of shining the light on a situation, looking for clarity too with feelings. So, uh, you're probably going to hold back and that's how they see you so they might be a little bit concerned you're not telling them the truth okay but i feel more than anything uh that's going to be overcome because they see you as their you know their wish come true their hopes and dreams they value you so nice yeah, they see you as the king of pentacles, somebody who's always prepared, very grounded, even though you've had a very tough time in love. So it's like they're very impressed with something you're saying. And I think they kind of, that shyness is kind of intriguing them. <laughs> but you see that evolution as they come towards you and they tell you they value you, you know, where you're letting go of something and you're ready for love. So they see you as the empress. Yeah, so you've definitely learned some lessons uh, of the queens. You definitely value yourself. Uh, you want somebody who sees your worth. So I do think this person gets it. And you may even actually say a few things to this person when you meet them. It might be a bit of a shock at first, uh, possibly. But they know, they also know if they don't do the same. Likewise, the mirroring energy that you will, you know, you're going to stay where you're at. You have a lot to offer. They see you as someone who has a lot to offer. Sexy, attractive, grounded, uh, very healing energy. Uh, I see that beautiful healing energy. The two of you could come together and kind of heal each other, you know, like just and not like the, it's going to be anything heavy. It's more like just spending time together, you know, where you kind of I always envision the star when it's two people in the center, two people holding hands and just going for a walk and talking and communicating and just sort of letting go of inhibitions and fears and purging old baggage as you move forward. So I do feel like you're going to be making plans to see each other. I do feel they see you as someone who's planning your future. Now you have a lot to offer. You're very creative. Uh, you're always building something. You're always moving forward. So they love that energy, Taurus. So let's see what this tower is all about. Why is the tower here for Taurus? A little Libra energy. Yeah. So this is definitely an energy where the two of you are going to, you may both be at like a crossroads, but they see you as somebody who may have options. You may have a couple choices. You're at a crossroads. You're not really sure. You might say, look, let's just kind of keep it simple. I don't really know where this is going to go. Uh, but look at that. This is about starting something about, yeah, it's going to start quickly. I feel this is happy. So I feel like it's like you're going to, um, your, your paths are going to cross at some point uh, very suddenly. Wow. And I feel like this person is definitely uh, 
they want to start something with you. Uh, but there is a need for that clarity for everything to be exposed. So I feel they see you as kind of being on the fence. And you may even have a choice between several people. Because, I mean, the, the Empress is the Empress, right? <laughs> Tell me, yeah, uh, they see you as their hopes and dreams, everything they could want. And I feel like you're going to feel the same way, but you're still in that Empress energy. You could walk away. You will hold back if you don't feel uh, safe. But they do see you as a keeper. Like they see you as someone who can manifest as well. So I feel like your person may be somebody who's able to manifest money as well. There's something here. Yeah, so as soon as I said that out came, before I can even shuffle out comes that, yeah. So they do want to um, offer you this something solid. They see you as someone who, you can you just go after what you want. You're a self-starter. You're not afraid to start things. You're not afraid to do things. They see you as someone who saves your money. You're always prepared, planning for the future. So that's good. But they also see you protecting yourself, your money, kind of holding back, not really sure if you should walk away or go forward. That's their impression, yeah. So it could be, you could change your mind, do they get it? Yeah, because you're one foot in the door and one foot out. You're not 100% sure. And it's because you're waiting for them to, um, you know, treat you as you want to be treated. You want to know they value you. Very nice. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, see a little bit of caution, just offering one cup, keeping some feelings to themselves, not really clear. That's how they see you as somebody who's kind of holding back, keeping things to yourself, Taurus. They see you as someone who's holding on to your money. So you may be a little protective of everything. You may have a, a, a really, a, you know, a lot of money or property, or you just have a lot of creative energy, or, you know, somebody who's a self-starter. So you're definitely a keeper, but you are in protective mode. And uh, I feel like it's, you know, there's something that you might be holding on to you need to let go of and probably vice versa. Everybody has a little relationship baggage they hold on to. But, you know, it's sort of like this time for change. As this evolves, I feel like it's going to be that letting go. So you take that pentacle off that four of pentacles and then it's going off with that. Then it turns into the three of pentacles. So I feel very positive energy. I think the two of you, I see you uh, dating. It's going to take a little time. Uh, you're going to be showing each other you value each other it's about loving yourself first too they see that uh, they see you as somebody who's very emotionally healthy other than that just that last letting go like i feel like it's the last stages or something evolving and changing okay so i actually feel like this is going to go somewhere i think it's going to turn into much more than what it may appear in the beginning tell me about the page of cups so I do think that they see you as someone who's going to tell them a story. You're only going to offer one cup, not too much. You do want love, but you want to just wait to see kind of how things go. Make sure that they, you know, appreciate you for everything you have to offer. Look at that. It tried to come out before when I was talking about something else, and there it is. So, yeah, so this person is thinking about you. They are up in their head. They see you as a very deep thinker, somebody very logical, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now, they also see you as a little strate strategic. You're kind of holding back, strategizing. I'm just going to hold back. I'm not going to offer them much until I know. <laughs> like, Okay, so it's all good. But I do feel this is their energy too. They're thinking about you, probably the same thing that you're thinking about them. So there is that, yeah. So there is that energy of the two of you manifesting each other. I definitely see a Gemini, a Virgo energy, uh, manifesting by being emotionally available. So someone here actually, you know, they see you as someone who has all the tools. You know, you know what you want. You're not afraid to go after it. Uh, but there is that need to let go of something. So I wonder, it's more like they don't really, I feel like it's once you get to know each other, you're not going to want to let go of each other is what it's telling me because you're mirroring each other. Uh, you both, neither one of you are going to want to let go. Uh, I, I see some hugging. I, I'm getting this vibe of a lot of hugging, a lot of uh, emotional communication, but nothing too heavy. A little, there's that logic energy in there, that balance. <laughs> So they, uh, they definitely see you as somebody who's not afraid to go after what they want. You have all the tools. They see you as very intelligent, emotionally available. I feel this person knows what they need to do. So yeah, they're headed in your direction. So they definitely want to communicate. They want to, it's the two of you are going to grow closer. You're going to move forward calmly and peacefully. And as you move forward, you're going to let go 
of anything that you need to let go of to connect, okay? Whether it's past relationship baggage or just a little indecision, you know, a little bit of indecision with that page of swords. Not really sure. You need to shine a light on a few things. And I think they are very aware they need to speak their truth. They need to know what they want before they come towards you. They get it. So uh, they need to come in emotionally available. They, they know that you require somebody to be emotionally mature, emotionally healthy, uh, because you definitely are. They see you as, a, as that, okay? So it's possible that uh, this person, yeah, they definitely see you as a star. Why is this here? Wow, Taurus, this is impressive. Yeah, so they see you as, some, as marriage material or somebody that's very balanced emotionally. Yeah, they see you as balanced. And you know, that's the Empress. The Empress is a very balanced person. This is, you know, uh, you're, you're financially stable, at least, you know, to their standards. Uh, they see you as somebody who's very grounded, uh, very much wanting love, but you will turn your back if somebody doesn't come in right. So they know they need to come towards you in the right way. They, you, you know, they're aware that they need to be emotionally mature, available, emotionally healthy is what it keeps telling me uh, because they see you that way. Okay. So yeah, just, I don't think this person, once you, things evolve, they're going to keep it's going to keep evolving. They're going to, it's going to keep moving forward. At first, you may not connect perfectly because of that uh, need for more clarity, need to know what their intentions are. Like this person knows they need to know what they want if they come towards you. If they feel insecure, you're, you know, they need to be secure in themselves to come towards you. So there's something to do with that in a really big way here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is two people. See, I said hugging. Did I not say hugging? <laughs> yeah, this person, they, they see you as a keeper. I feel as though there is, this could develop, this could turn out to be love or you won't want to let go of each other. I, I feel a lot of hugging um, as you kind of grow closer and get to know each other uh, before it moves towards that physical. But it will turn into that. And I do think this person's going to make you an offer. You require it because you're manifesting it by staying in this energy. And they really get it. Like you, you value yourself and that makes you very attractive to this person. So they need to kind of like come towards you with the, you know that same energy. Uh, I feel this person is someone who's... Um, they're willing to learn more. They want to move forward calmly and peacefully. They, they really want to manifest this. So I do feel there's that mirroring energy. Wow, it's coming up in a lot of readings. And it's been building the last few months, the mirroring here and there. So there's definitely something building here between two people. I see love. I see this choice in love. They choose you. You're going to choose them. And I do think the seed's going to get planted. So be careful you don't get pregnant to anybody who doesn't want to be. It just told me that. So be careful if you don't want to be. All right. Be, use a little protection. Be cautious. Yeah. Maybe already in your mind there may be a communication about that. You want to make sure, because, you know, I feel like you're in that energy, and they know it too. You value yourself. You value everything that you've worked for. And, you know, you have, you know, it's an energy. The Empress has everything they need. But, you know, uh, the Empress is somebody who, you know how to make yourself happy. You don't need anyone to make you happy. Uh, you just want somebody you can connect with, right? Somebody who will build you up. This is two people building each other up, going down that path together. So I feel it's going to build. It's going to grow. Nice. All right, Taurus, you've got this. Yeah, I see some Libra energy here. <laughs> they see you as somebody who wants justice. You want someone who's just right. You're not settling. Yeah, they find you physically just right, beautiful. Uh, you you want to make sure they have to come in right, though. They need to be, you know, this person is somebody, you know, they need to do things the right way. Uh, they need to take time to get to gr know you, to grow closer. Uh, they could be at a distance, this person. So, you know, they know you will move away to avoid a disaster. You'll move on and offer your cup to someone else. You'll ch you could change your mind in a heartbeat if they don't behave properly, right? This is about treating you fairly, uh, being balanced, doing things the right way. 
So I th they see your worth and your value. They see you as somebody worth holding on to. Uh, I don't think you have anything to worry about with this person. But yeah, just watch that pregnancy. Because uh, as soon as I seen this, I was like, oh yeah, use protection because they actually uh, definitely, <laughs> you could end up manifesting a child, okay? <laughs> pregnancy with that Empress energy right here too. Some of you may want this. It may develop into that, you know. Uh, it's all up to you. It's your choice. All right, Taurus, let's see, where's this headed for Taurus? Uh, so you're going to build something together. The momentum is going to build. You're both going to put in a lot of work and of effort towards each other. This could definitely go somewhere, but it's going to take time to build it as it evolves. So very nice. You're both going to put in that hard work. You know, they know they have to put in the hard work. Okay, they know it. They know they need to be the one to make the offer. You will not be the one to offer them. They have to come to you. And uh, so if you have a date with this person and then you kind of just turn your back like, OK, well, I'm going to focus on my money. I'm creating something new. I'm growing. I'm building things, you know, because you're not all focused on them. You, you're you're healthy about your love life. You uh, you have everything that you need. Right. You don't really need to go chasing somebody. But if if the right person comes towards you, absolutely. I can see this going, but you know, it's not like you, you need this person. You, you really just want, you also want someone who, who's a good fit, someone who's very creative, uh, very passionate, someone who's not afraid to go after what they want. So they, they are getting this energy from you. So yeah, you want someone who goes the distance. You want someone who knows what they want. They're not afraid to put passion, creativity, to do things the right way. Uh, this absolutely could lead to commitment. I can see that happening. Uh, I see this building going the distance. I see the two of you even, you know, taking drives, doing things like that, spending time. And I do think this passion is going to grow. I think the two of you are definitely just right for each other. I, I feel it's very, very positive. Wow, I see Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Virgo, of course yourself, Taurus. Strong Gemini energy in here, so somebody may have some Gemini, or it's just that manifesting energy, you know. Um, and I can tell you right now, if there is any form of manipulation of any kind, or anyone uses any kind of form of unhealthy, um, manipulative, emotional energy, they will be cut out in a heartbeat, okay? You will turn your back and walk away because you're not dealing with anybody who isn't emotionally mature and healthy. That's the biggest message I see here. That is, I feel they see that, um, and they see you be in that way too. This is the wonderful thing about it, so... Yeah, very good. This could go the distance, but you know, it'll be see how what happens, how things build, how the two of you connect, where it evolves. I do feel like they're going to keep it's going to keep growing. And uh, but they know you will you, at any time you could change your mind and walk away. Spirits telling you that at any time you can change your mind and walk away. If you feel this person's manipulating you, I don't think they are. I actually feel they're emotionally mature and available. I feel they're cautious. Okay. They may feel like you're manipulating them a little bit because you're not offering them a whole lot. They're kind of thinking it's like you're kind of mirroring each other that way. But I see this as being a new person, a new connection. Happening, your paths are going to cross very suddenly. So I, I like that. It's going to be like one of those... I don't know where you're going or where you're going to be, but it's going to happen. I do feel there's going to be a lot of chemistry, but I feel like you're strong. You're not. It's not just about that physical chemistry for you. Everything else needs to be in balance as well. So you've got this, Taurus. I wish you the best, and we'll see you soon.